So hello everyone. Uh, hello, so, sir. Uh, most welcome. Yes. So um, we will introduce our colleague Deepak Kapoor, who is uh, um, currently affiliated with the GKSM Government College. Um, connected to the Punjab University in Chandigarh. And he is going to uh, present his topic today, which is entitled Exploring Battered Female Psyche in Her Tamuller's novel, The Appointment. Take back, please. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, this will be a very, very brief talk. And uh, let me share my screen. I have a PP2 to share. Uh... Uh, is it visible? Is, is the PPT visible? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thanks. So uh, the title is Exploring Battered Female Psyche in Herta Muller's The Appointment. So a little bit about Herta Muller. She was a Romanian born, I mean, she is rather a Romanian born German novelist and she currently lives in Germany and she won the Nobel Prize in 2009. And uh, she was uh, actually the, the character, the protagonist in this novel uh, is based on her own life because uh, during the communist regime in Romania, during the reign of Nicolae Ceausescu, which was the nation, nationalist socialist variety of communism, a very dangerous variety, she lived there and she had to suffer a lot. So did this, the protagonist, she hasn't named the lady. Uh, she is based on her own life. And... Uh, uh, this Hata Muller, she was a part of the linguistic and ethnic minority uh, that survived in a communist state and her works depict cruelty, violence, terror, subjugation and dehumanization of the masses, especially the minorities in the repressive regime led by Nikolai Ceausescu. And her novels also depict the modern history of Germans in the Benat and the Transylvania. These are the regions uh, cultural regions, or you can say geographical regions, historical regions. Uh, so uh, this novel, The Appointment, it was published in 1997. And uh, it is the story of a young woman who is employed as a worker in a clothing factory in the totalitarian regime of uh, Romania. And the plot opens and the protagonist, she is summoned to appear before the secret police and uh, she is told to appear at 10 a.m. sharp on uh, every Tuesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Monday, etc. And she is summoned by the secret police because she was sewing notes into the linings of men's suits carrying the message, marry me. Means she wanted to escape this uh, country no matter how. So these suits were to be sent, uh, were to, be sent to Italy and she hoped that uh, she could get out of the country with the help of a recipient who perchance gets the uh, gets interested in the offer and uh, wants to marry her because of the notes that she put in the suits. And this novel is also a graphical description of the downfall that occurs in human relations, especially when people are subjected to horrors and brutalities of the totalitarian regime. The memories and thoughts of the narrator are followed meticulously in the narrative by the novelist Herta Mul. Actually, uh, in the novel, uh, she marries twice this the, the protagonist uh, and paul is her second husband uh, he gives her some strength but he is a drunkard and therefore she is not able to uh, be in a good relationship with him and her efforts to strike a mental balance in her life always get thwarted and all these thoughts convey her fragmented state of mind she somehow manages to hold on to her sanity she, along with other sensitive people, means people who, who were sensitive enough to counter this totalitarian regime, she, with other people, such people, learns to cope with the atrocities of the community's regime. But she, she is in a very uh, battered state of mind throughout the novel. And her own colleague, Nelu, she, uh, he is responsible for her torture at the hands of the authorities. The protagonist is terrified that the inquiry officer might take her down to the cell below his office. At home also, she remains terrified, but Paul, her husband, cannot judge her terror. She listens to the alarm clock since three in the morning, ticking 10 sharp, 10 sharp, 10 sharp. And many critics, they have uh, pointed to the fact that this, uh, this uh, character is based on Herta Muller's own life. And I have uh, tried to, uh, from the novel, from the reading, I have tried to uh, uh, 
come to certain conclusion or some suggestions. And the first one is what I have learned from this, this study of this novel is that the excesses of dictatorship are too crude to be told in plain words. In this novel, Herta Muller has devised a specialized language which is full of metaphors for excruciating bodily experiences. In this novel, characters like the narrator, Paul and Lily experience death drive. Suicidal thoughts emerge in them and passive fantasies like I wish I were not here arise in them. They develop tendencies to hurt themselves, all the characters who are sensitive. The terrible repercussion of the communist regime is the loss of faith in human beings. Nobody is able to trust anybody, even their near and dear ones, because the regime uh, coaxes the near ones to spy on their relatives or on their friends. And people in this state uh, at that time, they, they secretly mourn freedom of speech and ideas of liberty that give every person a chance to explore their personality. They do not find fulfillment in the relationship that they make. They tend to fall in depression because they see that the other person is not attached to them fully. They do not experience emotional equilibrium. The characters in this novel go beyond the unconscious goal of sexuality when they look for functions like money, beauty, status, and security in a loved one. Such forces always tend to operate in the background that, uh, that is at the unconscious uh, subconscious level. The protagonist suffers from neurosis that deepens day by day in the novel. Her anxiety has started disturbing her sleep patterns and diet. She struggles to find happiness. Her psyche has become so fragile that even in minor incidents, uh, even some minor incidents are capable of ruining her day. Utter desperation and neuroticism have become the second nature of every sensitive person in that country at that time, including the protagonist and including the novelist. No wonder many people wanted to flee that country at that time for good. For, and similarly, the novelist also, the Hata Muller also, she also migrated to Germany and currently she lives in West Germany. So this was a very, very brief uh, attempt from my side. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you for your patience here. Thank you for your presentation. We are pleased to see that we go across certain various countries, regions, and even types of narratives. Um, and I will pass now over to Swayam or Akar Shak, who will tell us who is the next presenter, please. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Deepak. Uh, thank you, Dana. Uh, for uh, helping us out. And uh, so thank you, Deepak. That was a wonderful presentation of, you know, uh, as uh, the motto Thank of uh, what I thought that it should go, that there we should have a pl plethora of uh, papers where both national and international, like, you know, there's uh, some sort of a uh, coagulation together, you know, we are working that as Dana and all presented on the mythology of Indian mythology. And even, uh, you know, Elena presented on Jumpa Lairi. And now you present on Romania. So, uh, of course, I had an experience of that when I had been to Romania, that how <laughs> closely connected we are. 